are having an absolutely fantastic morning, afternoon, night, whatever it is for you guys. When today's video finally reaches you, first and foremost, I just have to say I am so sorry that I have yet to create and secure my new background ever since moving into my new place. That is on the top of my priority list for the coming week, so I can assure you guys my videos will be more aesthetically pleasing coming up. But with that disclaimer being said, I want to jump into today's video. Now, this video has been so highly requested and honestly, over the past couple of days on social media, I've seen the hashtag so much that I haven't really been able to avoid it, period. And that is to talk about Britney Spears and the hashtag free Britney. Now, I actually saw this hashtag around a year ago, maybe a little more than a year ago now. And when it resurfaced as of lately and all the TikTok started coming up and the tweets and all of that, I really wanted to re-look into what it means when it comes to that hashtag and what's been going on with Britney Spears as of lately because I wanted to make sure I was totally up to speed and after doing so, I thought that I would make a video for you guys today and kind of talk about where this is coming from. So if you guys are interested in hearing about that, to sit back, relax, and we will dive right on into it. But I do want to say before doing so that I am simply sharing with you what was available to me online. I do not know Britney Spears or her family or team personally. And what I am saying is solely based on evidence or speculation that is available to me. So I don't know about you guys, but I was born in 1996 and Britney Spears was a huge part of my childhood. I actually remember in the third grade, my whole birthday party was us singing Britney songs and we took our t-shirts and tied them, like looped them through the top of our shirt and was dancing with our shirts up, which is totally inappropriate for third graders, but we had so much fun doing it and pretending to be Britney Spears and we, well, meaning me and my friends and family, absolutely loved Britney. Now in around 2007 to 2008, it was made very evident that Britney's mental health wasn't doing very well. She'd lost custody of her children. It was said that she was suffering from substance abuse. And then as you guys know, the media was right in her face when she suffered a mental breakdown and shaved her head. At this point in time, I really think that everybody just chalked it up to another childhood star going down the dark path of Hollywood. And I remember my mom saying how sad it was to see it happening and just how much she hoped for her recovery and for her to really just get her mental health back on track because it's it's not fun when you're in that that type of a headspace. Things seemingly weren't getting better for Britney and in 2008 Britney was placed into a court-ordered conservatorship where her father, Jamie Spears, would become her legal guardian. He, with an attorney, was given control over Britney's estate finances, and overall being. An online article where this is concerned reads, court documents show that Jamie Spears has the power to negotiate business opportunities, sell her property, and restrict her visitors. He can file for restraining orders against those he believes threaten his daughter's stability, and he oversees much of her life. Every purchase she makes must be logged in an annual court reports of her spending. He became her guardian, which was responsible for all of her decision-making and life choices, therefore allowing him to control her life. Where this all becomes baffling is that 12 years later, at age 38, Brittany is still within that conservatorship, meaning she is still under the control of her father. All over social media, people are absolutely outraged that she is still being held in this conservatorship, claiming that Britney's not allowed to leave the house without her dad's permission, that Britney's not allowed to drive a car, that she's not allowed to spend money without his permission or his supervision, and that he makes every single medical decision for her, business decision for her, and just overall, every single one of her decisions is made by him. But I do wanna backtrack for a minute here, you guys, because the hashtag free Britney didn't just pop up as of lately. It was actually a very popular hashtag back in 2019 when people were even protesting to free Britney. 
Back in 2019, the Free Britney movement actually began because it was brought to fans' attention that they believed Britney was being held in a mental health facility against her will. A voicemail was shared on a Britney Spears fan's podcast, Britney's Gram, and was said to have been received from a paralegal who had been associated with Britney's conservatorship. It had been reported around this time that Britney had checked herself into a mental health facility in April. However, in this voicemail, he states that Britney had been put into a mental health facility back in January. Um, I used to be a paralegal for an attorney that worked um, with Britney's conservatorship. I'm no longer with them. Um, and what is happening is disturbing, to say the least. Britney has been in the... Um, in the mental facility since mid-January. Um, of course, the, the, the statement yesterday said uh, she entered last week. That is not true. She's been in there since mid-January. Furthermore, Brittany had been set to begin a new residency in Las Vegas in February of 2019, when in January of 2019, it was abruptly canceled, claiming that Brittany needed to focus on the health of her father. This was in reference to the fact that Brittany's father had nearly died in November of 2018 after his colon had ruptured, and Brittany claimed that she needed to take this time to care for her family and for herself. However, the voicemail said that while that had happened, the reasoning behind it was solely a cover-up. He claims that Brittany had denied taking medication that they wanted her to take and therefore her father had canceled her residency. I should also note that fans became rather enraged when they discovered that the mental health facility that Brittany had been admitted to was a 1.5 star facility. One review even read, unethical, illegal, abusive, trauma-inducing. I am a highly successful businesswoman who came here due to a divorce. I have been shamed, told I was too happy, and watched the staff lie around on couches laughing and eating at night while they thought everyone was sleeping. I'm going to report them to the Department of Health in California. I, along with a friend I made in here in similar circumstances, wish to shut this location down. A lot of people argue that with the money that Brittany makes, if she had in fact admitted herself to the facility, wouldn't she have admitted herself to a better facility? While still having no control over her life, Brittany continued to release music, to perform, was even a judge on X Factor, and more, but still had no control over her own life. She performed around 250 shows for her Peace Sydney residency in Las Vegas between 2013 and 2017, which grossed a reported $138 million, making Britney around $500,000 per show. So while she's performing and seemingly thriving in life to the public, why is it she was still, and is still, under the control of her dad? Surely somebody who can be in the public eye and perform and create music and be in the limelight should be able to manage their own money and their own life choices. But let's look at the definition of conservatorship. I feel like that's very important to dive into. Conservatorship is a legal concept in the United States. A guardian or protector is appointed by a judge to manage the financial affairs and or daily life of another due to physical or mental limitations or old age. A person under conservatorship is a conservatee a term that can refer to an adult. So how is it to this day, Brittany still has no control over her life due to physical or mental limitations or old age, but she's able to continue her career? There's plenty of professionals who claim that it's both unusual and unlikely for somebody of her age and performance ability to be in a conservatorship as they're typically meant for individuals who aren't likely to or can't or won't get better. Well, back in 2007 and 2008, it's very evident as to how she could be deemed a danger or threat to herself and her children. People from the outside looking in don't understand why 12 years later, she's still being controlled and micromanaged by her dad. Now there's plenty of people who claim that the courts won't take such measures unless they absolutely have to and claim that that's a true testament to her mental health that we might not all see, but a lot of fans aren't buying it. Well, I will say we do not know what goes on behind closed doors and we do not personally know the mental health or state of Britney Spears. But then we get into recently, here in 2020, why everybody is so freaked out. 
Fans have been noticing that Britney isn't acting the same. She doesn't look the same. And some have even said her teeth don't even look like her teeth anymore. A lot of people mention that she looks scared and medicated and they feel as though she's just disoriented and not really present. But perhaps the most chilling and talked about occurred on TikTok. In Britney's second last TikTok, a user commented telling her to wear yellow in her next video if she needs help. Her next video was her prancing around in a yellow shirt, almost showing it off. She leaves frame and re-enters frame, showing off this shirt. And I have to admit, you guys, while this could be merely a coincidence, it was unsettling to me to actually be able to, with my own eyes, see that comment pretty high up on her TikTok comments, and then for her next post to be her prancing around in a yellow shirt. It just didn't sit right with me. In fact, when I first saw it on Twitter, I went to her TikTok to see if that comment really existed, and after analyzing it myself, I too felt like it was really uncomfortable and unsettling and just gave me a really weird feeling. But it's actually unknown how much of Britney's socials are even ran by her. You guys have to remember her entire life is under the control of her father. Some say that she doesn't even have access to her phones or socials or that it's limited monitored access. And some even speculate that she's been given medication to give her the appearance of being airy, out of it, and like she's on something so that people don't speculate or question why she's still under the control of her father. Well, others think she's given these medications so that she stays out of it and can't fight back for her rights. Well, these are all speculation. When Britney does any sort of interview, it's said that she's not allowed to do live interviews and that her team requests the questions ahead of time so that they can filter through and decide which questions are appropriate for the interview. And all of these things, you guys, are just very confusing if she's still able to perform and judge on X Factor and be her own public figure. What's going on behind the scenes that she's unable to run her own life? None of us really know. A lot of these theories as to Britney being held captive and being held up against her will are just that, theories. We don't really know the truth. Well, we do know that Britney is in fact still in a conservatorship for the past 12 years, we don't know why or what's been keeping her in it or why the courts are still allowing her to be in this after 12 years. We don't know what goes on behind the scenes for better or for worse and all that the public has been doing is speculating. But I will say there's a lot of things that have been very, very odd and it's either a very creepy coincidence or something scary is going on. I do want to make a disclaimer before I conclude today's video, you guys. I am by no means saying that Britney Spears' father is holding her captive. I have no idea the circumstances of their lives. I'm just simply sharing with you guys what's been being shared on social media. And I encourage you guys to do your own research and to stick to what is actually fact. All that we know is that Britney Spears is in a conservatorship and that her life is being ran by her father. Why that is after 12 years, we don't truly know, but I will say Britney's behavior on TikTok, to me anyway, seems really, really off and I feel like there is something, something going on that we don't know of. And I am praying that Britney is taken care of and doing well and, um, yeah, I love Britney Spears, so I'm really, 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 really praying that she's okay and doing well. I really want to know what you guys think of this. I would love to hear your theories down below, and I'd love to know whether or not you guys think that it's the public making something bigger, or if you guys think that there is something terrifying going on. Please let me know in the comments below. And that is it for today's 
video. If you guys are new to my channel or you are just not yet subscribed but you do enjoy my videos, I would absolutely love it if you would go ahead and click that subscribe button and please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Remember my loves, do all things with kindness and until next time, I love you guys.